my friends. It's Nancy and I'm ready to do a flip through of this baby book. Um, I literally have my phone taped to my lamp because my tripod situation has gone kaput. <laughs> anyway, well, let's give it a shot. Um, could come crashing down at any time. We'll just see. So, um, I have wrapped this book in several layers of vintage um, seam binding. I actually had um, wet this and crinkled it, and it came out too crinkled it, so I ironed it again. But, you know, if you wanted it recrinkled, you just wet it again. Um, two inch spine, curved, hidden back spine, hidden curved, hidden back spine, something like that. Anyway, this book is 1940, 1949. Um, the illustrations in here are done by Eloise Wilkin. I should say El Eloise Wilkin, not, there's no S. I've, I always want to put an S on it. These end pages were cut from uh, a book, and if I could remember what book it was, I would tell you, but I cannot remember. I had pulled just pulled the pages out and put it in with my baby ephemera that I wanted to use, but it turned out super sweet. Um, so there's nine signatures. Each signature has 24 pages, um, front, front and back. Um, so let's get started. Um, there's pages from the original book in here. I tried to keep out any drawings of genitalia <laughs> or tried to cover them up uh, because this really is a, you know, how, where do babies come from kind of book. So on the front and back page, I've put this hand crocheted rick rack trim, which I understand is pretty unusual. Um, I find it semi-regularly in our area, so I, I don't know. But this is uh, definitely vintage. It's pale pink and um, with some white crochet. Paper doily. This is some um, like resume paper um, in a natural color. And I've just adhered on some, some pastel color rickrack. Here is... I should have had a tag ready to show all the tuck spots. Here is a, an authentic photo. It was from 1961. Baby's name is Deborah Sue. And I've just put that on as a um, little pocket. And the photo corners are vintage Denison. And it's it says it's baby pink. This is baby pink. To me, that's sort of like an orange pink color, which is okay because it goes with sort of this orange pink cover, right? Um, oh, so this was from a knitting book. Um, this is some, I want to say sketch paper that I just did uh, an edge punch on. This is from a 1941 baby book. And um, unfortunately it was a little little long so I just trimmed a little bit off of each end and folded in the sides so that I, I could get the most of this in as possible. It's really cute, really cute. Um, so these are the backs of those pages. Um, and uh, a lot of lace is uh, vintage nylon colored lace so you wouldn't necessarily find this in a store now it, you'd have to find a secondhand source um i chose this one because it has the, the the navy blue that is featured in uh, the cover the fabric the seam binding and there's that orangey pink color again um, this is a library pocket 
and um, I've just fussy cut an image from a magazine there and I included a vintage baby shower uh, card it's not completed and uh, a blank um, library card here is uh, another knitting pattern Um, more of that uh, resume paper. This is from a little golden book and it is um, also the same illustrator, Eloise Wilkin. So I used illustrations from two other books, uh, both of them are little golden books, to um, supplement the pages. Um, sketch paper. This is an envelope that I have collaged vintage baby gift wrap. Added a little bit of trim. Inside is this little tag that has uh, fussy cuts, vintage um, magazine images, a little bit of a crocheted motif and button, and uh, it's a window envelope, so we can just pop that in there and see the baby poking through. Uh, this is also vintage baby gift wrap, um, and I've adhered it to a, um, the page that had knitting instructions on it, just to sort of stiffen it up. And next, um, another page from the original book, doily, resume paper. This is from uh, a, a third, the, the, the third book, the Eloise Wilkin book. This one is called Baby Deer. And uh, it's got some lovely images. Another page from that baby book. So there's lots of blank writing space in here to um, attach photos or do journaling. Um, here's a little slide. Um, tuck spot that I made. This is a birth announcement. I don't know the year, but it's uh, definitely vintage. And this is a um, magazine ad from a vintage newspaper or, or um, magazine. And I've just glued it onto cardstock. Um, I used vintage trim here. This is uh, hand tatted, and then this. Um, little daisy trim. This page, um, I've got this little envelope just pinned on there. Oh, I gotta take it off because it's wrapped around. I thought I could just slide it, but it's the uh, flap of this envelope is just is actually hanging over the page. Little slide with a vintage photo, another vintage photo, and uh, another birth announcement. This is one. This is from 1941. Baby's name is Clarence. Pop these back under. Um, this is a. Uh, little tuck spot well it's not little it's a big tuck spot that I made out of a vintage ma um, magazine page and trimmed it out with this mini rickrack um, layered it on top of this very vintage baby gift wrap and here's a little journaling spot also from a vintage magazine there I want that flower out more rickrack. Here's another little envelope you can put memorabilia in. Um, another vintage photo of a family with a baby, and this is a flashcard. Music paper. Uh, vintage gift wrap. Um, this is just a little tuck spot, again, using a um, ad from a vintage magazine and uh, that photo. 
another envelope. And inside is this tag. These little images are cut from a, um, a sewing pattern. Uh, uh, the envelope from a vintage sewing pattern. I love this picture. It reminds me of my kids in, in the, the blanket sleepers when they were little. Now they're 30 and 27, so i got good memory. <laughs> this is a little tuck spot. That's a photo from a book. But I thought they were adorable. Another little tuck spot with um, a vintage slide. And here's another vintage baby card or baby um, shower invitation. And it can open right up. And the ad is for a vintage magazine. Okay, I think this is four or five. I think four, five. Uh, doily, resume paper, the new baby. more of that vintage baby book. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Um, this, oh, I thought that was going to be my favorite picture, but it's not. Got confused there. <laughs> Look at the little kittens. So this one cracked me up. This is one of the first pages in the book, and uh, it talks about, um, you know, uh, Cats have baby kittens, and horses have colts, and cows have calves. And I'm looking at this cat, and and he's like, uh, these aren't my kittens. I'm going to wait for Maury Povich. <laughs> See what the DNA test says. Um, this is a vintage 78 RPM record uh, sleeve. Uh, I just cut a little hole here in the top to put in this little journaling item. So this is a magazine ad. And I don't see these very often, but this one had a lot of um, nursery rhymes on it, so I thought it was, it was good. Um, had to do a couple of little repairs here, but I like the bright colors and uh, then that's my favorite picture. I love the, <laughs> he looks like a little frog. <laughs> I love that. Um, another envelope. Inside is a vintage magazine ad, and this is a fussy cut from um, Vintage Sewing Pattern. And again, using different collaged uh, gift wrap. There we go. Uh, this is just cardstock that I adhered to the short end of the um, uh, record sleeve. And then I took a second piece of paper and just folded it and wrapped it up around the bottom to make uh, pockets on each side. This one is uh, uh, another vintage card and I just made a little flip, flippy tag from that. Another page from the baby book. And I just, I can't, uh, I can't tell you how, just how cute these images are. They are so sweet. <laughs> uh, sketch paper, book page, resume paper. Um, this is uh, Doily. This is an ad from a um, magazine. I've just finished it on some file folder. And I made this little pocket using... Um, Vintage music paper, it says sleep, baby, sleep. Fussy cut some gift wrap. Fussy cut this little baby from a sewing pattern to 
make that collage. And our knitting pattern. And last envelope. This one is actually a big ad from Heinz and it talks about what you should have for baby's wardrobe. Um, and I scored it and folded it so it would fit in there. Uh, it's backed onto card so that you can journal on that. Aren't these cute? This is the last signature, a little more rickrack. When I first saw this, I thought she was holding the baby next to the fire and I thought, oh my God, <laughs> but she's holding her doll. So I'm feeling a little better about that. Um, that's not the baby on the floor, that's the doll. And the last page from the uh, baby book. Oh, look, she looks like she's scared of the lamb. Coming to the very end, and this is the last page. Again, I used those um, baby pink photo corners. This is a photo from 19, I want to say 43, and it's also a uh, pocket. So, if you're seeing this video, this book is for sale listed on my Etsy. Um, I was a little hesitant to list it on Etsy. Uh, so here's the, the buyer beware. So right now our mail situation is terrible. Everything is slow, slow, slow. Canada Post is not guaranteeing expedited or um, express post uh, dates. So, like, usually there's a guarantee, you know, we'll have it to the, the, to the recipient within so many days or whatever. They're not honoring that guarantee. Um, what I'm being told is that the volume of mail right now is uh, beyond Christmas volumes. Um, at plus, uh, because everybody's ordering things online, right? Plus the extra precautions they need to take um, to keep their staff safe is increasing the speed at which they can work. I know they're doing overtime. I actually had a package delivered to my house on Sunday afternoon. We, in Canada, we don't get Saturday de delivery, let alone Sunday delivery. So that in itself was kind of um, odd. Um, and my orders have really slowed down. So I'm getting messages on Etsy every day. My package hasn't arrived yet. My package hasn't arrived yet. And I am I just keep begging people for their patience because I know that they're eventually going to arrive. Um, it, it seems like just at the point where the person's getting very anxious and they mes message me within the week, it arrives. Um, I have, um, uh, refunded a couple of orders. I have, um, sent second shipments of the same product. Um, you know, I want to honor my end of the bargain, but if you're interested in purchasing this book, if I ship it tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Thursday, Thursday the 30th. Um, if this coronavirus thing has still got us in lockdown, which it seems like it probably will, since I know our schools here in Ontario were closed at least until the 31st of May, I would just really ask for patience. I will ensure it. Um, but if, and it will have a tracking code, so you know, we can check where it is, but it might take three weeks, four weeks to get to you. Um, 
So if you were looking for this book as, you know, to arrive by a certain date or as a gift for somebody for a certain date, don't count on it. Um, I, I just appreciate you looking. So, um, yeah, um, so I've been hesitating doing any updates to my Etsy for the exact same reasons. Um, but I think I will be doing an, an update in the next day or two because A, I have a lot of stuff. B, um, I'm still earning a wage, but my husband isn't, and this is a two income home. So the extra funds certainly don't hurt my feelings. Um, and actually his EI benefits just ended uh, a week or two ago and it'll be a couple more weeks before he's eligible for the CERB. Um, I can't remember what CERB stands for, but the emergency funding that the, the provincial or sorry, the federal government has instituted. So he can't even apply for that yet because, um, because he received EI employment insurance there for a bit. Anyway, so I'm, believe me, the wolf is not at the door, but <laughs> the extra income would be pleasant. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching my video. I do appreciate uh, the, the kind comments and you take care of yourself. Stay home, stay home, stay home, stay safe. Take care.